When you're completely new to creating levels, it's often hard to know what does and doesn't work from a gameplay perspective. Hopefully this video will help some of you new mappers out there to avoid making these unfun scenarios in your Doom maps. The first and foremost thing to avoid in your map is ultra skinny hallways. One of the most enjoyable things about combat in Doom is the player movement speed. Zipping around and hurting monsters is the most effective way to defeat them. However, if the player is trapped in an ultra skinny hallway, 96 units wide or less, they won't be able to utilize Doomguy's incredible speed and agility, thus taking away one of his most effective means of fighting baddies. As with most of the points on this list, this is just a guideline of course. There's nothing wrong with a small air vent that connects two rooms being small just as it should be. However, forcing the player to go through large chunks of the map in a small tunnel is unlikely to be enjoyable for most doomers. It's especially bad if they also have to face numerous monsters while in skinny tunnels. The second thing to avoid is excessive symmetry. As someone who has spent way too much time doodling around in Doom Builder, I understand the built-in desire that some of us have to create nice, pretty-looking little symmetrical tech bases. It's important to fight this urge as much as you possibly can. Symmetry results in a layout that confuses players. When you have to go to two or more areas in a map that look identical or nearly identical, it can be very hard to realize exactly what spot you're at, particularly if you're also trying to survive an onslaught from a bunch of monsters while doing so. Now, a little bit of symmetry is fine. For example, you can have a room with two staircases on either side, but it really does help if you put decor, different textures, or just anything really to help players distinguish exactly where they are. Once again, just a guideline. If your gorgeous castle entrance at the very start of your map looks better symmetrical, that's totally fine. The overarching point is that your map should ideally be easy to follow and understand for the player. Of course, you can try to take the psychological approach and confuse the player with this kind of thing, and I've definitely played maps that take that approach which are very fun, but if you're new to mapping, this is generally something to keep in mind while getting a feel for creating worlds in Doom. The third thing to avoid is traps with no escape. Unless you're designing a map that's meant to be intentionally cruel and punishing, you really shouldn't force the player into an inescapable pit or a trap of any kind, really. If a player is really in the zone and forgets to save, this will royally fuck them over. In certain ports there are autosave features so that you don't lose your guns when you respawn after dying, but in most ports and the original vanilla executable, death means reverting to nothing but a pistol and 50 bullets. If a player is halfway through your otherwise tough but fair wad, but then they're suddenly forced into an unwinnable situation and all their progress is suddenly removed, it might just be the thing that makes them shut it off and never return. Granted, this is how a casual player should feel if they try to step toe in a cruel gauntlet, but if your wad is just meant to be fun for the average doomer and not a cruel gauntlet, I highly recommend against this. The fourth thing to avoid is only implementing ultraviolence. Falling from the last point, if your wad is meant to be an Iron Man level challenge, you can probably ignore this one, but I don't suggest starting out that way when you're new to the craft. Implementing easier difficulties is simple and doesn't really need to be overthought. Once you've placed all your enemies and ammunition just as you want it to be in Ultra Violence, go through and select a handful of these enemies and untick the box that makes them spawn in easier skill settings. I personally try to do this proportionally, so if my map has 100 monsters on Ultra Violence, I'll untick 20 of them for Hurt Me Plenty, and 20 more for Hey Not Too Rough and Baby Mode. This leaves me with 60 enemies on the easiest skill levels, 80 on Hurt Me Plenty, and 100 for the hardest skill levels. Of course, you should pay special mind to the enemies you remove. If you remove a lot of shotgunners, remember that'll mean a reduction in available shells throughout the map. Removal of a single arch vial or cyber demon also has a chance to make the map substantially easier. After reducing the monster count, I tend to add a few more boxes of ammo and health in for the easier skill settings as well. Make sure you untick the Ultra Violence and Nightmare box before adding these extra items in, or else you'll mess up your map's balance and make it too easy for Ultra Violence. The fifth and final thing that I suggest you avoid in your Doom maps is ugly or repetitive usage of textures. Every texture that comes with Doom and Doom 2 can be used effectively, resulting in maps that are nice to look at and moody. Of course, Doom has always supported the ability to add custom textures, but I recommend making at least one or two maps using the default 
to help you get a feel for how to best make textures work together in an appealing way. If your building or wall is made of a different material from a certain point onwards, don't just lazily change the texture and leave a big ugly seam. It's best for you to use one of Doom's border textures to help create a better looking transition. You can even make it jut out just to help give it more depth and make it more appealing to look at. If you're unsure how to best make the default textures work together, checking out nice looking wads that primarily use unmodified textures such as scythe or fava beans or even the first episode of the original Doom will be very helpful in letting you know what works. Anyway, that does it for this video. I hope this is helpful to some of you out there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment on YouTube or get in touch with me through my Doomworld profile. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this. Take care.